Okay, family, welcome back to my channel. Now that we've already packed our bag, and as I mentioned again, you'll need your itinerary, your passport, and your yellow fever card, and your vaccine. And I also forgot to mention in the previous video, you definitely need to take your, medi uh, your malaria medication. Because as for us who are living in overseas for such a long time, we've already lost that immunity to malaria. So definitely make sure you take your malaria tablet and consume as per instructed by your doctor. Um, as for me, I took a box of malaria tablets and I was taking one pill every single day uh, for the past eight weeks when I was there. And then when I came back to Australia, I also took it for 14 days. So it was really helpful and I never got sick with malaria and I also take a lot of uh, prevention with malaria too. So you want to enjoy your holiday, you don't want to be sick, you don't want to uh, spend time in a hospital. So better be safer than sorry, take your malaria tablet. So today I will just focus on visa process. Um, and shout out to Wademaya. This guy is a Ghanaian YouTube and he's trying to do a big difference in Africa to show to show the world the narrative about Africa. And I love his work. So my first video that I saw of, of Wademaya was for he, he was when he was talking about visa process in Congo, and I was like, wow, this is expensive. But that video, it's so true. Everything he mentioned in that video is true. To enter Congo, you need a visa. And for us who are living in Australia, here in Australia, we don't have a Congolese embassy. So if you need a Congolese visa, you need to send your passport to um, Belgium. And it will take about three months and you will pay about $700. Um, so as for me, when I heard about that option, I didn't go with that option because it's just too expensive. So uh, that's why this video is all about encouraging Congolese and see what we can do better. Uh, because with this visa process, it's really discouraging a lot of us to visit home and a lot of diaspora to visit Congo or uh, even um, tourism it's going to be really low for people to go and visit Congo. I did ask some of my fellow Congolese who have traveled before in Congo and most of them mentioned that they always um, just uh, uh, receive visa on arrival which wasn't enough information and I thought I'm gonna just go and get the visa on arrival so I never really go ahead with uh, sending my passport in Belgium and, t and spending all that $700 on visa. So I thought, no, I will get my visa on arrival. If you're going to get a visa on arrival to be a Congolese national, or if you are from a Congolese diaspora, you need to have your Congolese passport or your birth certificate or your parents' um, identification for you to be able to access that um, visa on arrival. So I really struggled when I got to my flight, uh, transit flight in South Africa. I got stuck there because they denied my flight. They had to cancel my flight to Congo because I had no visa. So in that case, I had to go to Pretoria um, uh, Embassy, Congolese Embassy, and that was a long process itself to get a visa. I had to write a letter. They were telling me that uh, it will take about a week for my visa to be um, given in uh, to receive my visa and to get my passport back. But I uh, figured out that they only wanted the money. So that's one thing you need to know. As much as I don't really encourage corruption, unfortunately, these things still happen back home and they still happen in, uh, uh, in the government side of things. Corruption is really killing our country. So that's all I can share here. I don't encourage corruption, but in such a situation, I had no choice because there was no way I was going to give my 
passport to a stranger for a whole week when I'm in a foreigner country. I'm in uh, South Africa and this passport is my formal ad identity. So uh, I wasn't uh, taking that and so I had to rebook another flight. But you know what they when say, when life gives you lemons, you make it lemonade. So my time in South Africa, I end up spending five days in South Africa that I wasn't expecting. Luckily, I have my cousin who live in South Africa. Shout out to my cousin. And um, I stayed with him uh, that time. And I also end up going to um, Kruger National Park. So I visited Kruger National Park, which was also fun. So I would encourage if you want to go to South Africa, it's definitely somewhere where you should put on your list and go and do Kruger National Park. It's a really amazing uh, experience uh, to see the wild animal in real life because yeah, I've never seen a lot of animal before. So it was good to see the big five. So make um, sure when you go to Pretoria Embassy, don't let them give you this Pretorian uh, visa because the visa that they gave me was supposed to be given only to South African residents, Congolese South African residents. And I'm not a resident of um, South Africa. So they were supposed to give me a visa called e-visa. It's an online visa. So I didn't also know about that. I got told that when I got to the airport for the second time after rebook my flight again, I got told that I still have a wrong visa. But thankful enough, I was able to show them some of other documented, some of other documents that I had. So they had to contact the airport in, in Lubumbashi and I had to send all my documents to the person uh, in Lubumbashi to verify it. I had to show them my return, return flight ticket to Australia and it was just a nightmare. It was just a long process. That's why I encourage um, whoever is watching this video and um, they have family member higher up in Congo or they deal with um, like foreigner, uh, like uh, with visa and um, foreigners affairs, please share this video to them and we need to start to speak up because we need a change. As Congolese uh, diasporan, we want to invest back home. We want to change, to, to invest, to visit home. But with all these other um, barriers that we are facing, it's really I'm hard. I'm trying to summarize this up in Swahili so that my audience can also understand. So, ukisha tayarisha safari yako ya kurudia ya kwenda nyumbani Congo, uh, kitu yenu unaitaji unaitaji visa kama una pasiporo ya Congo unaitaji visa mbele uingie Congo so una style ku apply for uh, visa muinchi ambayo yenu unaishi ndani asa si watu ambayo tunaishi Australia atuna na ni uh, ambasade ya, ya Congo hapa uh, Australia wakaniambia wakani kwamba nikitaka kupata visa ifo ni tumane pasiporo yangu Belgique na nilipe 700 dollar Asa nikauliza wa rafiki yangu beneba isha enda kule Kongo baka niambia ke um, Unapasha kupata visa ukifika tu Uwe ukibaonesha tu kama uko Kongole bata kupatia visa wakati unafika kwa Europo Lakini hiyo informasyo ni abongo Ju mutu mwenea napata visa uh, wakati unarive una, una Kongo Ni ule mwene hako na, na madokima ya Kongo uh, Mapasepo ya Kongo Ao ni Kongole mwene akingaliki na madokima yote yako. Kama unatafuta visa jitaidi yako yote usafiri kama utaenda kama ni lubumbashi. Uh, kama kwa naenda lubumbashi uende kwanza zambi. Kisha po zambi ndo uende sa ku uh, uh, ambasade ya nani ya Kongo. Ua, uwaoneshe uh, pasipoko yako kisha ndo bapate visa kutokia pale. Iyo naweze kaeleweka. Lakini ukitaka kusema usafiri kutokia tu hapa Australia mpaka uende um, Kongo uh, bila visa abata kuitikia kuingia. Mablokaje kwa mingi sana. Batu wanapenda corruption. Uh, banata, banapen, batu wanapenda rushwa. Kila kitu ni rushwa. Kama una rushwa <coughs> abata kupatia visa. Kama una rushwa bana kuambia sime ukuye semene poshe ni ndo uke kamata pasiporo yako uh, jua visa.
Asa hii mablokaje yote kwa kutanisha Sie batu bene tuko inje Au batu bene beko wanataka kukia kutembelea Kongo Abata weza kukua na kia kutembea mkongo Wakati hii mablokaje yote ikondani Kemina waza kusema uh, uh, tu ni kwamba Tujitahidi yetu yote tuanze kuongea Na kuanza kugabula hii mainformasyon kuma internet ju hakuna mwoneko na sema hakuna mtu mwoneko na speak up inakwe inaaffecte but inchi yetu haita endelea kama tunaendelea kufanya hii mablokaji kwa watu tourism leo kama Dubai kwa mfano Dubai leo na jengewa ni juu ya watu kutoka inje kukia kuingia mma inchi kutembelea inchi nilingia mu Dubai siku blipa ta visa unawana so mma inchi za mingi nisha tembea mu Afrika mma inchi tano au sita visa unapata kwa Europa Lakini Kongo iko iko make siyu kama niseme hae lakini ile manjia ene iko nayo Ni manjia mwa ene iko natia watu uh, mablokaje ya mingi Mungu wa saidie tuanze kushanje mabitu juu bitu saidie gisi ya kuinua inchi yetu Kama peko wana proteje inchi lakini hakuna kazi ene iko, iko nafanyika juu wana proteje inchi tena mutu kilipa kapesa kadogo wana kuingiza hivyo Asa unakutanisha sasa hakuna proteksio ene bako wana proteje inchi Unawana Ndo kwa maana mi naweza tu kusema ya kwamba ni kuraforseke Kama uko na safiri kwe tukwenda Kongo Jitaidi sana upatie visa um, mbudongo ya Kongo Asa itabidi utoke hapa kwanza kama uko na tokea Australia uko ataenda Lubumbashi utoke hapa uende kwanza Zambia kisha hapo Zambia ndio uende ku ambasade ya Kongo ba kupatie visa a partir ya pale ile itakuwa rais lakini ukikata uki bia yako kusema kutoka hapa mpaka ndege yako na kufikishia mpaka Lubumbashi utakuwa na maprobleme mu ma, uh, ile maiskale juu mafasi kote kuna uta, uta stope bata kuambia unaitaji visa kuingia mkongo Mbo, ndobe nene kwa tuna kuna ongele hivyo Na asante sana kwa, ku, kwa ku, kuwa hapa na kuwatch uh, hii video uh, Na omba sana ujitahidi upartaje hii video Ju tu, tuendele kusaidiana mumafasoke Hii ma internet isha kwa nifasi mwa ya kusaidiana na kukomala na kushanje bitu bingi So ifo tuangale kisi ya kwanza kushanje bitu mumainchi yetu Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.